this morning, no surprise, the Columbia River Gorge bracing for the worst of this ice storm. Now, warnings have already gone out about the potential for fallen trees and power outages. Brent Weisberg is out in Troutdale this morning. Tracking conditions, it was very windy when we last checked in with you, Brent. Jenny and Ken, good morning to you. Still very windy out here in Troutdale this morning. The Hood River County Sheriff's Office is advising that folks simply stay home. They are saying that this ice storm is going to be a prolonged ice storm and it could bring damaging wind and that ice will simply weigh down trees, power lines. So they are expecting damage from falling trees, property damage, and also power outages out in Hood River County. We are hearing anywhere from up to two inches of ice, according to the Hood River County Sheriff's Office, in places like Stevenson and uh, Cascade Locks. That is why folks are being told to simply stay home if you can. This morning, we know that the Oregon Department of Transportation is carefully monitoring the situation out in the Columbia River Gorge, saying that if they have to, there is the possibility that I-84, both eastbound and westbound, will have to be shut down. But at this point, it remains open. I can tell you the strong gusts of wind this morning that we are experiencing here in Troutdale only gets worse as you go farther out east into the Columbia River Gorge. This morning there are tow trucks on standby ready to go out into the Columbia River Gorge to start removing cars that may have slid, slide off or get in crashes. This morning again we cannot reiterate enough simply stay home if you have any plans to go to the Columbia River Gorge it may be best to delay your travel because the, as the sheriff's office says there is no warm-up inside that means any ice that thaw, falls will not thaw out until likely sometime Sunday according to the sheriff's office. Back to you. Yeah, you can really